Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another great video. So guys, today I am sharing seven signs that you must be looking for or that you can check in um, in your recruitment process to maybe see and weigh whether the job offer is on the way, whether you are doing well, you're doing better or yeah, things like that. But guys, what I have to say is you can get a combination of one and seven and you can get two and five and you can get three and four and still don't get the offer. The only way you can make sure or you know that you've got the job is when you get that email and it's got that attachment and it says congratulations or it says kindly find attached offer or we are extending an offer and you know it's celebration all over the place so guys i'm going to give you seven of them i'm going to start from number seven all the way to number one because number one is probably the first one that you will you are likely to notice or it just open up to other signs that i'm gonna start with okay guys so number seven guys you you will realize that down the line they will maybe make you meet the CEO or any person senior or the person that the position is reporting to that's a very good sign like why are you meeting um, someone else other than the people that are interviewing you I'm saying this because I know that other people especially the very senior people like CEOs and COOs they are very busy they are hectic and if they are able to say hey two minutes do you want to meet Knox this is Knox we are interviewing her for this position you know what be excited because that's a very good sign and then another thing guys please use the comment section as well to also share your experiences if you did maybe get some of the signs that I'm explaining or that I'm sharing and you did not get the offer and do also share if you've never seen or yeah seen any of those signs but you still got the job because that would be very interesting okay sign number six guys they start discussing logistics like before the interview they when they should listing you they obviously do confirm a few things like salary what you notice period but once the interview or post the interview they start talking about those things how soon are you available what you notice period again um how much would roughly be what you are expecting in terms of salary wise because hey they start discussing working hours how are you going to get to work are you using your own car or public transport those are very good questions and you should really get excited because there is hope there is hope i'm saying hope right that the offer is on the way uh, guys number five number five they start doing background checks listen background checks um do come at a price especially your qualification or your academics where they check whether your metric and all these qualifications and certificates that you do say you do have in the bag or you've obtained once they start doing that they do your fingerprints obviously that is done with another company which really comes at a price no company will just wants to waste money unless they're really interested in you so once they say ma'am we are conducting a reference check or oh, please send us copies of your qualifications make sure they are certified and they make you sign that indemnity form where you are aware that they're gonna do some check or some background check on your name to get excited because that's a good sign right um and number four guys i've seen this i've seen this and i've seen this guys when they start working um around your schedule you must just know they're really interested so what will happen is let's say they say um can you are you available for four o'clock and you say no i knock off at four and from my office to your guys's office is roughly 30 minutes but with traffic and not knowing i want to make it on time can we make the interview at five o'clock and if they can change their schedule to meet with your schedule trust me they're interested in you it's like you are telling them that i'm available at this time for this long and they need to work around that to make sure that you come through to make sure they meet with you to make sure whatever um, that needs to be done within the recruitment process gets done you uh, are a better chance of getting that offer 
Okay, guys, number three. It does happen, guys, that they take you for an office tour just after an interview. They're like, oh, would you like to see our office? <laughs> guys, this is a way they are selling their company to you. They probably like you. You did very well in the interview. And now they just want to make sure that you are liking the space and they're looking at your body language when they are showing you around and they're hoping you're going to like their office. You must just get excited. Sometimes they'll even introduce you to your, the people that you're going to work and they like also saying, so this is where you're going to be sitting. This is where the team is at. That's whoever the team leader or the person who the, the position is going to be reporting to. If the person is not part of the interview, guys, once they do office tours, that's a good sign because they don't have all the time in this world to be doing office tours to, for everyone that comes for an interview. It's a lot of work. Time. Time is precious. And they don't have the whole day to be showing everyone that comes through for an interview. So if they are taking you on an office tour at the back of your mind, you know, you must just think, offer, offer on the way, because it might be coming. Okay, number two, guys. <laughs> I know this, and I know this, and trust me, this one, guys, when you follow up, you will pick up that when you have a chance of getting a job, or, yeah, or they really like you, or they're really considering, right? When you follow up, um, you get immediate response or they reply quickly than when they are not considering or they know that um, they don't want to continue with you. And I know this because I, after interviews and after the line manager has said, I'm interested in one, two, in this person, in this person, and then maybe, let's say, the third candidate tries to follow up, I normally will take longer to reply. I don't reply right away because I'm just thinking how to put it. I don't want to give you ideas as much as in the process you shouldn't be giving anyone ideas, but you just want to be extra careful with someone you know and it's been highlighted to you that they don't want to consider them for that position. So their responses will normally take longer. You will say, I shall see them after lunch. Let me not open the email because if I do open, then I'll, I might forget to respond. But if it's someone that you know um, or you're fully aware that they are considering and things are looking good, as soon as I drop that email, you just want to reply and keep it going because you don't want them to lose the interest. Remember, they took their time to drop that email to give you that call and... You want to keep them up here, you know. Remember, you're also selling your company to them, right? And guys, number one, <laughs> this one is a bit tricky, but trust me, it's one of the signs. If the interview takes a bit longer than scheduled, it's a good sign. Not all the time, but most of the time it's a good sign. And I'm saying this because I know people would ask when the interview takes takes longer, what does it mean? Most of the time, if you are in an interview and they're interested, they're nodding their head, they're asking questions, it's more like you are having a conversation and for a minute you just forget this is an interview. You are very comfortable because you are prepared enough to answer the questions and it doesn't really feel much of an interview as much as you are scared, but they are getting into more details and you are sharing all these things and your interview is supposed to be 30 minutes and your interview is 45 minutes not all the time but in most cases when they take longer and you can see body language is in place and they are nodding and they are liking and you know you just know you are doing absolutely good for that interview chances are that offer is on the way but not all the time as i said guys my these are my seven that i've i've seen in my career yeah in like six seven eight years um and they've never failed me sometimes it's a mix of two and three and it does happen that something happens let's say you've seen all of these and when they do background checks you lied about a certain qualification that is key to the position and obviously then you know what i'm saying you, you won't get that job but if 
all of these are tips that you can get in some or most of them you have a chance of getting a job like i said guys use the comment section please do share your experiences did you get maybe two and three you know when you were following us we would get a good response and they asked about how soon you are available when can you start what your notice period how much are you expecting the next thing right there they dropped you and they sent you a regret letter that you did not get the job and you were very disappointed so yes guys and then give this video a thumbs up guys and to everyone if you are here for the first time go ahead and press that subscribe button it's absolutely free and thank you for tuning in guys i'll see you on another awesome video have a good day